A suspect in a murder case is ready to confess. That's the latest development out of Greene County tonight. We've told you the story of Caitlin Wolf's murder. The 19 year old Linton girl was found killed in a wooded area last June. Now Jordan Buskirk, one of the accused, has entered a guilty plea. News 10's Rondell Moore has been following this story since it broke. In tonight's top story, he breaks down the plea agreement and has reaction. Rondrell? Mike Patrice, it's a murder case that's hard to forget. A 19-year-old teen found dead, a family very much so in grief. Now there's at least partial resolution. Jordan Buskirk will enter a guilty plea. The Greene County Prosecutor Jarrett Holtzclaw said he got that plea late last week. He went over it with Caitlin Wolf's family and they decided to accept it. Here's what will happen. Buskirk will plead guilty to murder, conspiracy to commit murder, conspiracy to commit rape and criminal confinement. According to that agreement, sentencing will be left to the discretion of the Greene County Superior Court. The state will not suggest a sentence. Also, at least three of those charged sentences will be served at the same time, not consecutively. So say he receives the maximum for each charge. The most time he can receive in prison is 85 years. Buzzkirk will also agree to testify for the state in the trial against Randall Crosley, the co-defendant. In a statement to News 10, Prosecutor Jared Holtzclaw said, quote, Although nothing can be done by anyone to replace the loss of Caitlin Wolf, I believe that Mr. Buzzkirk's decision to take responsibility for his actions will help to some extent the healing process the Wolf family is going through, end quote. We caught up with a friend of Eric Wolf's, uh, that's Caitlin's father. He said he hopes the plea agreement will help in the family's recovery. It's just that uh, it's tragic that what has happened, there's been some healing and uh, moving on. Now, I also spoke with members of the family. They didn't want to go on camera, but they did tell me they're still in grief, of course. They hope to get more information into exactly what happened now that Buskirk has entered a plea agreement. He's scheduled to appear in court for a change of plea hearing on December the 3rd. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Rondrell.